Hey guys, we are here for homemade inks and things take two. <laughs> we already did a video on the coffee ink uh, and how to do that and I've done a few other random ink videos uh, along the way but I'll link the coffee ink video in the description below. That's what this is. I get asked a lot almost every we almost every day sometimes depending on how many views the video is getting how much glycerin I put in here about a tablespoon. Um, and I've never had a problem with it getting moldy or anything like that. Um, it's been fine. This is one I've done in a similar fashion. Now, this, of course, is not made with food. Not, of course, you wouldn't know that. But this is done in a similar fashion. This is done with pencil shavings. And again, the ratio of the homemade ink to water is about the same. Um, I make the ink and then I put about a tablespoon of glycerin in it for about this size bottle. I, how many ounces is this? Do we even know? This is eight ounce bottle. So about a tablespoon for every eight ounces. It'll slow down the drying time of the ink, but it will also keep it from evaporating and getting moldy. Um, so whether you're doing the coffee or the pencil shavings, do it about the same. Once you make them, here's a quick tip. Write on the bottle what it is. <laughs> with your label maker or a Sharpie. I have this box of fine liners and things that I actually have to clean out and go through. And I've got all of these different like concoctions. Most of these are paint, I think. <laughs> but none of them are labeled, so I don't remember what it was or why I did it or, yeah. Someday I'm gonna have to go through this. I've got, uh, I got pearl, is it pearl pens? In here, I forgot those were in here. Paper pens. Paper, they're, yeah, they're uh, by Viva Decor. Anyway, there are all these things <laughs> for doodling. Anyway, I forgot they were in there, so I'm going to have to clean that out. Um, so there's that. This little thing here is by Derwent. This is intended for use with ink tent blocks. This is basically a jar with a grater inside of it. Let's see if I can open it without, um, oh here we go. Oh, there we go. Without spilling it everywhere. So it's a jar that has like a cheese grater type of thing on the top. Can you see that? And you grate your ink tent block into the jar and put water in there and you make kind of an ink thing with it. Now, I didn't buy this. This little jar thing is kind of expensive if you buy it regular price. Um, some places it goes for $25. I found it for 90% off at a local shop that was clearancing them. They only had the one left. The packaging was messed up on it. I got it for 25 cents, okay, <laughs> when all was said and done. So, um, yay, because otherwise I wouldn't have bought it. Now, because it has the grater top, I can use it like a strainer and I can um, make my pencil shaving inks in here. So what I've done is emptied all of my pencil sharpeners into this little jar. And it, all regular ones, water soluble ones, it doesn't matter. I put them all in the jar. I poured water in there and then I used a little tool. Okay, this. This is actually for working with metal and making um, actually jewelry and beads and things, but I used it to sort of crush my pencil shavings down into the water, crush them up, and then I added a little bit more water, put the lid on it, and let it soak. It's been soaking for a few days, and now I can pour it off into my pencil shaving ink jar carefully. I'm going to need a funnel. I'll be right back. Let me go get one. Okay, I found some more pencil shavings while I was looking for a funnel. So I'll show you what I was talking about before. First, we're going to dump this into our jar by just doing this. And the nice thing about this little container is now it's going to strain out all the shavings, which I always had trouble with doing before. There we go. So every time I add some to this, I'll put, you know, I don't know, for this size jar, maybe like a quarter of a teaspoon worth of glycerin in there, which let's do. 
let's find the glycerin. Here we go. So, and you can get glycerin in the pharmacy department of pretty much any store. No, I don't measure anything. I just kind of do that, put a squirt in. We'll seal this up. Give it a shake. Now on this here, we're gonna open this back up again. Let's put this on. There we go. Unscrew that. Now we have all these pencil shavings in here from before. I think I'm actually gonna leave them. I might get a little more ink out of them. I found this little container of shavings I forgot I had. Cause see, that's what happens is I start saving the shavings to make some ink and then if I don't do it right away I forget I've got them and I've got little boxes of shavings everywhere. <laughs> so then we're going to put some water in here. Okay, it's not full but I'm going to smush them down. Think of it as using a mortar and pestle to make pesto sauce. If you cook, you know what that means. You're gonna just grind it and smush them up. Try to get extra ink out of those shavings. Okay. And then we'll fill it back up. There we go. I'm going to put the lid on. Okay, give it a shake. And then let it sit for a couple of days. Just put it aside and let it sit for a couple of days. And the pencil shavings will dissolve into the water. You'll get something nice and black and inky. When you use it, it dries a little bit lighter, like any other watercolor paint or water soluble paint generally does so it dries to like a light gray color but it's really really pretty color it's fun to do splattery things with and to paint with this is now going to be my art, art funnel so now the last thing I need to do is I need to label these so make sure you label them uh, think outside the box a little bit what do you have laying around your house or your art room that you can use to make your own sort of um, inky painty products with things to stain paper and to do fun paintings with what can what can you use that you already have think about it look around and have some fun with it don't forget the most important thing have a great day do something nice for yourself because you deserve it and I'll see you later bye